Hello everyone and happy Monday and thanks you guys for coming back and checking me out. Hi guys, it's Monday, Monday, Monday where I come in and talk about the mental health piece. Not going to be too long today guys, just want to bring out a few things. Guys, don't forget that September is mental health um, month. So guys, make sure you're checking in on loved ones, family members, neighbors, cousins, um, uncles that um, may have some things going on or just may need someone to talk to. And um, guys, I just want to say um, thank you for everyone coming to the channel, checking me out. And I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. So to guys, today I'm just going to jump right in. I'm once again talking about taking care of your mental health. You know, because if you're feeling stress, grief, or any type of anxiety during um, this time, you just know that you are not alone. A lot of people are going through a lot of things like sadness, fear, worry, or other emotions that can affect us. So we all have, you know, things that we're going through in the daily life, guys, that may affect our mental health. So this is why I come in and just try to share and let you know you are not alone. We all have some things that we're going through separately in our lives that, um, can affect our mental health on a daily basis and that's why I come on to tell you that if you need help with anything that you're going through make sure you are getting help you can get in contact with your primary care physician they can most definitely send you to the necessary person that can help you you can most definitely reach out to them and um, you can also go on the computer and there are um, hotlines that you can call if you feel that you need that help. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm none of those things. I'm just a young lady that comes on and I talk about the, or talk about or mention the mental health piece so that we can get help if we need help or we can reach out to someone, talk to them and let them know what's going on and maybe they can help guide us to where we need to be. And that's so very important because um, we all go through different things at different points in our life. And that's so very important that we try to um, be a listening ear because the most important, important thing you can do for a person that is going through um, a mental health is listen with compassion. We have to learn how to listen to what they're saying so we can know if they need the help because so many people may be reaching out but no one is listening because sometimes when we are conversating, we don't stop to listen because they can be reaching out and we don't really, we're not paying attention to what they are saying. So the best thing to do is like listen with a listening ear and not try to do so much conversation or talk to them um, or over talk them because that's something I have to work on because sometimes when I'm in a conversation, I start to talk a lot. You know, and so I have to learn to lay back, put my listening ears on and listen because sometimes we are um, saying the wrong things to them. So instead of us saying, I know how to fix things, we should just listen to them and let them like conversate, tell us exactly what's happening so that we can figure out if they are okay. We're not a doctor, but we can figure out do they, and we can try to let them know and let them know if they need to see someone we might be that very person that saves someone's life that's why i say with our children in our home if we have children we need to listen even with our adult children we need to be um, listening and checking in on them and making sure everything is definitely okay and then with our spouses and things of that nature because you know we're in contact with people each and every day and i feel like we are not always in contact with people just just in contact with them. Everyone I feel like I come in contact with, it's a purpose and a plan for me being able to come in contact with those people. So instead, like I said, instead of saying, um, I know how to fix it, just listen and let them tell you more about the situation. And then never tell a person, stop worrying so much. Just let them know that you're here. I'm here for you. I, you know, I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to do what I can for you. And a lot of people, which I hear this a lot, they like to say, you know, the same thing happened to me. Instead of saying that, say, I hear that this is difficult, you know, because different situations, 
you know, make you vulnerable to different emotions. So at that time, they might be trying to express themselves to us and we need to, you know, slow down and try to listen to what they're saying. And um, never tell them that it's gonna be fine because saying that is not good. You should just say you kind of understand and you're trying to understand. So for me, it was a big thing when um, my mom passed. It, and I, I just wanted to bring that out because you know, when everyone comes to you and talk to you about when you have a death in your family, it's like, you know, they be like, oh, I understand, I've been through that before. And um, time will change wounds and things of that nature. And oh, um, God knows best. And you know, at that time, you know, you know that, you know, I knew that God knew best, but you're still longing for that person that has left you. and. Everyone doesn't process it that way. Everyone doesn't process it. As soon as someone passes, okay, I'm processing this. Each person processes loss differently. So you have to handle everybody differently. And you can't say the same thing that you said to one person that you said to another. And by all means, if you haven't been through that, you can't say, I've been through that. That's why I'm very careful when I have friends that lose a child or something like that. I try and make sure not to say, oh, I understand because I don't understand. I understand the loss of a parent. I understand the loss of a brother, but I don't understand the loss of a child. So I would never say that I understand the loss. You have to be careful how you word things when you're dealing with people who are dealing with grief. And um, make sure you're having like conversations and coping because if you're feeling overwhelmed in uh, emotions like anger, worry, stress, sadness, or frustrations, sometimes talking with a friend is really very helpful. And like a friend or a neighbor or a loved one about your concern. Sometimes it relieves you and it helps you to be more resilient and you can handle things a lot better, you know, because you have someone that's trying to be understanding and understand your situation. So, you know, the mental health piece is very important. It's so many parts to it. But guys, I just want to say, make sure also that you're taking care of yourself because the most important thing is making sure that you're taking care of yourself because if you first take care of yourself, then you can be there to help take care of others. That is so very important. And with me being a caregiver, I have to take extra time out for myself. Sometimes it's hard to process things, you know, and go through things. You don't know what to do in certain situations. So make sure that you're praying and make sure that you're doing your devotion or, you know, doing a scripture praying. Make sure you're doing your vision board and um, make sure you're um, taking care of yourself and watch those things come off the vision board. Watch how God has moved on your behalf. Write things down and be intentional about what you're asking God for so he can continue to bless you. But guys, I wanna say thank you to all my subscribers for subscribing to the channel, guys. Each one of you are amazing and you rock. And I thank you for coming over. I am close to monetization and I think it has just been a blessing for me to come on, have this platform, be able to tell some things that I went through so that I can be a help to someone else out there. Guys, you have been a blessing. And thank you so much for continually watching the videos. I just wanna be a motivated, motivational person to motivate you to get up, keep moving, keep going because if you stop and stay stagnant, that's when you start to have the problems. So make sure you're moving you're um, doing some things to make yourself happy. You're doing some things one hour a day, 30 minutes a day. Do something to make yourself happy. And that way you have a happy, happy life. So guys, not going to stay on. Just want to say thanks so much to everyone. Guys, you be blessed. Make sure you're doing something to motivate yourself. Make sure you're staying busy. And make sure you're being mindful of others. And make sure you're taking care of your mental health. You guys be motivated today. Have a blessed day. Keep dreaming. Keep thinking about what you want to do. Keep thinking about what you want to do with your channel. And think, and most of all, think, keep thanking the Father because he's most, He's a definitely a blessing. And he is, has been a blessing to me. And as he's been a blessing to me, I'm able to come and share some things that I've been through in my life. So guys, you have a great Monday. Be motivated. Go out there and do something for yourself. And thanks for coming in, guys. Have a great one. Have a blessed one. And I'll see you guys what in the next one. Have a great one, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.